Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you a proven concept for Q4, a proven product. I'm going to back it up with some proof as well. So if you're still frantically trying to get things together in order to capitalize on Q4, and you're still looking for a product or a niche or a range of products to go into, then I'm going to try and give you as many of those components as possible in this video. So that when you finish watching the video, you can get started right away. So the niche I want to show you is massages. So this is from a UK perspective, 2004 to present. We can see year on year since the beginning of records, that it always spikes in October, November, and December. It's because they make the perfect gifts. You probably know somebody in your family. It might even be your mum or your grandmother that has been gifted a massager. It's just, for whatever reason, it's a popular gift to give for Christmas, making it a perfect niche to go into. It means you can build a branded store around it. It means you can build a single product store around it. The possibilities are pretty extensive. Where the proof comes in is we'll see that it's in demand, obviously. I want to show you this post from a company called Veluza or Veloza. Um, I want, before I show you the actual creative itself, I'm going to point out the primary text. Super simple, isn't it? I think we can all agree just straight to the point, feel the difference instantly. When it comes to running ads on Facebook, I've been doing it since 2016. The most important element is always the actual product itself. The primary text, yes, is important, but it's always, always, always the product. So this is the ad creative. This is the video creative. Um, whilst you watch that, 17,000 reactions, 5.3 thousand comments, and 2,000 shares. It's a pretty unique device, isn't it? It's not like your typical device that you would find in Boots or your local kind of supermarket. And watching that, it's, it's almost like, um, it's, it's a bit of a weird, like, look, isn't it? It's almost like it's alive. But the way it kind of pinches you, it obviously gives a pretty decent massage. Um, and this is backed up in the results as well, which I can show you. So <clears throat> this, by the way, it's a brilliant... This, by the way, excuse me, this, by the way, is a very profitable product too. Massages are very profitable products. They're not cheap products that you're going to be scraping 5 or $10 per sale. And I'll show you this in a second. So I'll show you the Shopify store that they're selling it on so you can see the setup. I'll talk you through the strategy as well and the reasons they've been successful. And then I'll show you how much you can buy it for on AliExpress too. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to show you how to put your own spin on it so you separate yourself from Veloza and do it in your own unique way so you can be successful. Dropshipping is so competitive now that if you just try and copy everybody else, you're really, really going to struggle. It's really going to be an uphill battle. You really do have to do things in your own unique way, in a way that your consumers won't have seen before. So the reason why this is such a kind of proven concept is for the following reasons, as well as the ones I've already mentioned. So the newest comments, 28 minutes, 33 minutes, 39 minutes, an hour, three hours, three hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, like lots and lots of comments all within the last 24 hours. These guys will be pumping a significant amount of money into this creative. If we go for most relevant, this is usually the comments that get the biggest reactions from people. And it's usually people leaving reviews, which is what you're looking for ideally. So attention customers, beware of counterfeit products. We have noticed several sellers, including some on Amazon, listing fake versions. Are Veloza the original manufacturer and designer of this product? <clears throat> Probably not, but by them posting this, this is something that a big, well-established company would do, that everybody is creating counterfeits of their products. So they're positioning themselves straight away as the original seller to kind of coax people away from buying the products elsewhere. So Kendra, I can see, yes, I'm a real person. This is a real review, a positive review. Just receive mine, just receive mine. It's so good, positive review. I got a recently arrived yesterday, positive review. Just got mine, positive review. I got this and it's amazing. Positive review, best thing I ever bought. Positive review, best thing. I got this for Mother's Day, honest review. Honesty, have this, not paid a review. I freaking love this. I want this, looks amazing. So like there's no, you can't look at this product that I've just shown you and say that it isn't working. This is 100% working. So let's look at how it's working. Jumping onto the Shopify store, straight away you'll notice the custom imagery with the branded box in. This is not imagery that they've imported across from AliExpress or whatever supplier they've chosen to use. <clears throat> they've taken the time to put together their own imagery on Canva. Creating images like this, super, 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 super simple. In fact, I'm gonna post a video, um, maybe tomorrow or later in the week on how you can create images like this in less than five minutes with a free Canva account. You don't need to spend a lot of money. You don't need to be a scientist or study Photoshop for months on end. Super, super simple and instantly separates you from the competition. I cannot stress, if there's one thing you take away from this video, honestly, it's please do not import images across from AliExpress. Or if you do, export them first, import them into Canva and edit them before you put them on your, on your website. So, 
The other reason why it's powerful too is because in product images, most people would have something like this and there's all this wasted space around. This is space that when the page first loads, this is space that can be used to help sell the product. So big money back 30 day guarantee of all the things that your eyes kind of naturally draw attention to. It's obviously the box, it's this here and it's the guarantee, satisfaction guarantee or your money back 30 day guarantee. Like these guys are standing by the offer that they're making. One thing that I would add to this store, if the person who owns the store is watching this, is get Canva, get Afterpay, get a split payment system on your website. They may already have it, but you want it <clears throat> on the page as soon as it loads, so that when people see here, they don't see £75 and think, oh, that's a, bit, that's a bit expensive to spend in one go. Instead, have a Klarna thing there that says, or oh, three monthly installments of £25, because there's more people out there that can afford three lots of 25 than one go of 75. So that's that's potentially one thing that I would add if I were the guys that own this website. The other thing too is they've stuck to the typical recommendation which we talk about on the channel when it comes to designing your site, which is like three colors. So you have white for the background, black for the text, and then you have an accent color. That accent color is this green and it's featured in all of the different product images along with their logo and they've added the custom text they've added just little design elements to really separate themselves every piece of content on this product page is original it's not just imported across from aliexpress and that can make the difference between success and failure i can't stress it enough <clears throat> another thing that they also do as well which i've actually been doing for a little bit of time now is Social proof is element is element. Social proof is everything nowadays. If somebody doesn't trust you, your brand, or trust your product, they're not going to buy from you. So they these guys lead straight into social proof, straight into reviews of the product. The typical way that I like to structure my product pages is for every benefit you have. So if you have five benefits of a product, then you want at least five social proof elements filtered or interwined in between those. Okay. Okay, we come back now to the mobile layout of the website because 95% of my customers come from mobile devices. They will do for your stores. It's always really important that you look at the layout of your site in a mobile format. So instead of having review after review after review, you can scroll through these different ones and they've got like a nice image there. Try it risk free. The other thing as well that I see people doing is they put too much text on their product pages. You don't need to have more than like 20 words. Just have a big, bold heading. Revitalize your routine. Everything you need to know about this is there in three words. Then have a little bit of explanation, nothing more than two lines because people don't want to read, people don't read as much as, as they did 20, 30, 40 years ago. It's the reason why the biggest social media platforms are the ones that are mainly visual based. Instagram. Um, TikTok, Snapchat, I might hit a blank then, but people would much rather, I think everybody can agree, people would much rather watch a GIF of something working than read about how it works. It helps you visualize and picture and feel the sensation of the product too. This is another common recurring theme. I always recommend doing that. Position yourself as the original seller, as the professional one. Say how and why your product is better than everybody else's. So they do a really nice job there. As you can see, like the content they use is pretty basic. Like it's not like, I don't think they would have spent much money, you know, putting this product page together. If you're worried too about this product, the fact that you can't replicate something like this because it comes in a custom packaging box, I, I don't think that's the case. I really don't because when you look at the images in the reviews, I don't see any mention of their brand. Like it's not on the product. I don't see the box either. Oh, let's have a look at this one actually. So you can't see, so it's got kind of like a handle at the top, hasn't it, that image? If we come back up to the top, that box hasn't got a handle on. So I, I, I don't think it is arriving private labeled, but the fact that they have that image at the top there gives off that impression, doesn't it? And it makes them look so much more professional. So reduce from 150 down to 75. You are eligible for free shipping. That is a note that I recommend people put on their stores. I reckon I know the person who owns this site. Um, anyway, £75 for the product. Come on to AliExpress. You can get it delivered for £25. do not be put off by this price. This is a price that pretty much you'll find you send five minutes on AliExpress and all suppliers do this. This is a realistic price. And what you usually find is the price that it's discounted to is like the normal going rate price. And you'll never expect to pay more than this. So I would work on that. So 25 pounds, they're selling it for 75, 50 pounds uh, profit margin. That gives you a lot of flexibility. It allows you to be quite aggressive. 
when you're marketing and you're advertising too, because to acquire customers for less than 50 pound is very, very doable. This particular supplier as well has six day delivery. So there are some decent suppliers on AliExpress. If you do your research, go and follow the reviews and make sure they're positive, then you can't really go too wrong. But there are lots and lots of other ones as well. Remember, drop shipping is just a proof of concept. Before you go, if you are looking for some extra help, some personalized help from somebody with experience, then you have to check out my real dropshipping community. It comes with a free seven day trial, no commitment, cancel with one click anytime. It allows you to join the community for free for seven days, get access to absolutely everything, and essentially get me to review your Shopify store and review your ads for free. It comes with my flagship five pillar formula. I've used this formula to generate over 1.2 million sales in 2024 so far. It includes everything from product research to introduction to my suppliers to introduction to everything, pretty much everything that you need to build a Shopify store then. Sorry, my mind went blank. But you also get this look, the feedback utilization. You're not alone on this journey. I created this community to give people access to mentorship benefits, but without the ridiculous hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars price tax. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope there was some value in there for you and it's given you some ideas. All the best for your business in Q4 and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.